Hello, my name is Yuval Itkin. I'm distinguished architect in NVIDIA, and I'm in charge of the silicon and software security architecture for the network business unit. Attestation is the method by which devices can prove the identity and the validity of the firmware code that is running on those. The DICE architecture, which was defined by TCG, defines the process and data model in which a device can combine pre-provisioned fixed certificates with runtime alias certificates in order to prove the identity and the validity of the firmware running on those. DICE is intended for add-on devices which do not have TPM on board. The core element to allow all of that is the hardware root of trust. The hardware root of trust is based on ROM immutable code and special hardware accelerators. The hardware root of trust calculates the compound device identifier, CDI, that is derived from the device unique secret, UDS, and the, some device specific settings. The hardware root of trust then hides the UDS from the device mutable firmware code so it cannot use that at later stage. The ROM code uses hardware accelerator for hash calculation, one-way cryptographic functions, and two random number generation. The principal flow of DICE starts at reset, in which all the device uh, assets and on-chip memories are initialized, and then the device operates on measuring the first mutable code, the device settings, and it combines the information that is loaded from the first mutable code with the device unique secret and device attributes in order to derive the compound device identifier, the CDI. From this CDI, the attestation flow will be based on derived keys. In order to prevent access to UDS, the device unique secret, by hardware and by firmware from later uh, firmware code stages, the UDS is hidden following the calculation of CDI and cannot be accessed until the next device level reset. When combining the, the device attributes into the calculation of CDI, we are sure that the hardware changes as well as device configuration changes will become visible and will yield a different device identification key, which will prevent attacks on settings and on the device from being non-discoverable. The device integrity measurement assures the, the settings are not modified and the uh, calculation of CDI allows to guarantee that any change on the hardware setting as well on the uh, firmware code is fully visible. And the expected measurements to which the uh, provided result is going to be compared is going to be provided out of band to the uh, negotiation process of the protocol. In order to allow multi-stage boot flow with DICE, we need to assure that only when the right sequence is performed, meaning that a given stage loads the right next stage and so on and so forth, the resulting keys only then are derived. This myth method combines the chain of trust as known from secure boot flows into the attestation measurement and is derived certificates as used by the DICE flow. On the left side, we see the fixed certificate section, which are embedded into the card non-volatile memory during the production time. These certificates are never changed throughout the lifespan of that device. On the right, we see the sequence of certificates which are generated at runtime during secure boot. The number of boot stages will set the number of the generated alias certificates. The key element to allow DICE-based attestation with update enablement is to allow the firmware update in the field 
for all the sections with no exclusion, including the first mutable code. The hardware root of trust will generate the first alias certificate for that purpose. This means that the ROM on the device needs to implement cryptographic operations to enable that. This capability removes completely the dependency between the first mutable code and the device identification certificate, which exists in legacy other methods. Implementation notes should be taken very carefully when implementing DICE. Adding additional certificates requires the platform root of trust to process more certificates because of the addition of the alias certificates. Alias certificates should include a firmware measurement for the associated firmware code in order to assure that they were created from the correct firmware code. Signing a certificate with a proper firmware measurement provides that testimony. The definition of the firmware measurement structure within those certificates is defined by TCG. Reporting the firmware measurement in addition to the content within the certificate uses DMTF SPDM protocol with a certificate chain. Using DICE also mandates that only the last certificate uses as a leaf certificate, while all the previous certificates in the chain are only used to sign the following one in the chain. NVIDIA CONNECTIC 7 OCP NIC 3.0 already implements DICE based attestation and is designed to be used in OCP NIC 3.0 form factor, providing up to 400 gigabits per second network connection for very high performance platforms. It is recommended to migrate using SPDM 1.2 with alias certificate support. It's recommended to assure that BMCs can accommodate at least seven certificates in a chain in order to allow DICE. Regarding additional information about SPDM and alias certificates and regarding TCG DICE spec, please use the following links. Thank you very much.